Now, the flag bearer of the opposition NDC, John Dramani Mahama, has assured the chiefs and people of Busunu, a suburb of the Savannah region of his party's commitment to developing the town, it voted into power in 2020. According to the former president, the NDC has proven itself over the years as the best in ensuring development in Busunu. He was speaking on the first of a two-day official visit to the Savannah region. Upon arriving this afternoon, I was given this mock to wear, one that is named after my wife, Ladina, and I'm grateful to you all. What I want all the constituencies in Ghana to do is to learn from what has happened in Daboya. Recently, the party opened nominations for all interested candidates to file to contest for the parliamentary primaries. Baji Obe, who is the incumbent parliamentary candidate for Daboya, contested with two other candidates for the primaries. In the grace of God, the incumbent won after the primaries. Fortunately, the two other contestants have agreed to put their differences aside and support the incumbent to win a seat. This has to be replicated by all Ghanaians and NDC supporters all over the country that all will realize that God's time is the best. So if you support your colleague today, you will receive same when it is your turn tomorrow. I want to thank all of you and also all hands must be on deck to secure victory in the 2020 elections. Isaac Nongyang is our Savannah region correspondent and he joins us on the phone with the latest. Isaac, we understand the general secretary uh, of the party also gave some items to the executives. What were those items? Yes, uh, he presented two vehicles, a uh, brand new uh, Nissan pickup and a saloon Ralph uh, vehicle to enable the regular, new regional executives to be able to move around and do that way. The pickup exactly is to move to the hinterland to meet with parties of functionaries uh, uh, and then try to come back vote for the party towards the 2020 polls. Mm. I realize that the, the, the former president spoke about uh, the just-ended primaries and how uh, the losers should support uh, the, the winners. What else has he been saying? Yes, I think the former president got it right. Uh, at Daboya and Lingbisi, where there's claim there's supposed to be a problem between those who uh, went through the exercise. The former president had it right when he told them that uh, fighting over what you have lost is of no use because if it is not a time if somebody saying the person has won, just agree, reconcile, and then move forward. Who knows? Tomorrow could be your day. And that was exactly what he did by bringing all the three contestants together, including the winner. And uh, there, openly, they, they greeted each other before the gathering, and then they will take it from there, going into the election. I see. And where is the team headed uh, this morning? What will he be doing today? This morning, he will be meeting some chiefs and elders in Sola, Sona Kalba District, and that's of Bole. I will speak his currently in Sola, meeting some chiefs at Jindaboy, and then from Jindaboy, he will be going to Chile Yiri. Chile Yiri is under, is within the same uh, district. From there, he will move to Bole, where he will go straight to Banda Kunta, then to Mandar Yiri. Later on, he will cut a sword for a new, the construction of a new of a district new office for the party in Bola Township. So we also understand that the general secretary uh, inaugurated some committees. Uh, what committees are these? 
this because there are about 21 of them. First, has to do with the Regional Steering Committee, the Council of Elders, the Peace and Reconciliation, mm. then the, the, the Young Patriots, the Young Patriots, and then the, the Young Gathering of Ladies and Men within the NDC. There's also another one that has to do with the Zongo Caucus, we call the Zongo Code Data. I see. And what are these committees expected to do? Is it to rally support for the party, uh, uh, you know, in the run-up to the 2020 elections? Exactly. You know, uh, according to, if you want to listen to the General Secretary, it is claimed or supposed that the West Gonja, for that matter, Northern region, is the stronghold of the NDC. Right. And he said, this committee are sent mainly to make sure that they maintain that part. And not to be complacent by saying that, oh, this is our strong who left a lot, but they may lose it. So they are, they are tax to go to the hinterland and make sure that they reconcile all those who have followed each other and, they, and make sure that they get the needed vote for the party after the 2020 election. All right, many thanks. Uh, Isaac Nonya is our Savannah region correspondent there with that update of the former president's uh, trip to that region.